Want to see how an outfit will look on you? Turn day into night? Change the text in an image? Mock up your logo into a product? Or annotate an image to instruct Photoshop how to adjust it? Now you can with the new partner models that Photoshop offers. I've partnered with Adobe to show you how they work. I can guarantee that in this video you will learn techniques that almost no one talks about and how to leverage these new models to achieve pro-level results. I'm Jesus Ramirez, let's get started. To start, I will press the M key to enable the rectangular marquee tool. With these partner models, it's much better to create loose selections around the objects you want to edit. Then, from the taskbar, you can click on Generator Fill. And this is where the magic happens. From this icon, you can now select partner models. The two new ones in the Photoshop beta are Flux Context Pro and Gemini 2.5 aka Nano Banana. That's the one I'll select. A model is the brain behind Generative AI. Each model thinks differently, which is why Photoshop gives you options. Switching models allows you to pick the one that fits best for the task at hand or compare them to see which of them gives you the best results. Each model has its own way of understanding prompts, so how you talk to them matters. Nano Banana understands commands and can make targeted changes like swapping colors, objects, or text while maintaining the original image consistent. So you can type a prompt like, turn the sweater red. When you generate, you will see that Photoshop returns the same sweater in red. And to me, that is just incredible. Let me know in the comments if you find this as amazing as I do. And the best part is that this is the same sweater with the same wrinkles, same folds and design. Everything is the same, but in red. And that's not even the crazy part. This is a Google model, so it has extensive knowledge. Instead of giving it a general term like red, you can give it specifics. For example, from the color picker, you can choose any color. Then copy the hex code and use that in the prompt. When you generate, you will see that the sweater is now using that hex code as the base. Again, Nano Banana has extensive knowledge, so you can even use Pantone colors. You can copy any Pantone code, then paste it into the prompt and generate. By the way, when you regenerate, Photoshop will look at the original image, not the generated version. Again, the results are just incredible. As you're watching this, think about what else you could try. What other knowledge from Google could you bring into your prompts? If you discover something good, drop it in the comments. I'll show you more examples that take more advantage of this a little later, but before we get there, here's the real game changer. With these partner models in Photoshop, you still have access to all your traditional tools and skills right at your fingertips. If this is not exactly the color you want, you can create a hue and saturation adjustment layer, and from the preset dropdown, choose prominent colors, then click on the swatch that matches the sweater and adjust it as needed to make it exactly the color you want. Let's look at another practical example, then we'll move on to the wilder things these new partner models can do. To remove braces from a photo, just make a loose selection, no need to get that close with Nano Banana. Then in the generator fill prompt box, simply type remove braces, then generate. In a few moments, we will get our generation and once again, with very little work, we were able to accomplish something that would have taken about 30 minutes in the past. And to me, that is just amazing. You can use the eye icon to compare the before and after. Her mouth does change a bit, but that's not a problem. We're in Photoshop and it makes it a great partner for Nano Banana. If things don't quite line up, all you need to do is fill the generative layers mask with black to hide all its contents. Then using the brush tool, paint with white to selectively restore the generated content. Now her teeth look great and there is no change in her mouth. As you have seen, Nano Banana is great at preserving content and that also applies to faces. Let me show you how to change facial expressions, but before we get into it, I need to give you some context. Nano Banana was created to work in a chat box environment where you can upload a photo and direct the changes via a prompt to the entire image without selections like we have to do in Photoshop. So Nano Banana was fine-tuned to work in this generator fill workflow, but we can simulate the environment that it was designed to work in by simply selecting the entire image. To do so, you can press Ctrl A to select all in your canvas. This now becomes similar to uploading an image to the Google Gemini chat box. 
Now that you see the marching ants around your canvas, you can go into Generator Fill and enter your prompt. But before you do so, here's a tip. Longer descriptive prompts tend to work best in these new partner models. But the space in the contextual taskbar is not very large, so longer prompts might be difficult to read. Instead, go into Edit and choose Generator Fill. Now you can use this larger box to better see and edit your prompts. To save time, I'll paste the prompt. I won't read the entire thing, but you can pause the video and see what it says, or you can look below in the description where I will place a link to all the prompts used in this video. But this prompt is telling Photoshop to give her a surprise look and to preserve everything else in the image. And there you go. She now has a surprise look, and I think that's how my face looks right now because I'm shocked at how well Photoshop recreated her face with a new facial expression. Again, the image jumps slightly. It might not be a big deal. You might be able to live with it. But if you want to keep her face and not have the image jump, we have the same solution as the problems in the previous example. Select the layer mask, fill it with black, and with the brush tool, paint with white on the mask to selectively reveal the generated content. And there you go, we have a surprise face and the rest of the image doesn't jump. I would really appreciate hearing your thoughts on the new partner models. Leave them in the comments. I'll try to reply to all of them. But I think the partner models are a great addition to Photoshop and they will definitely change photo editing forever, especially after you see the examples coming up next in this video. Now, let me show you how Nano Banana can recognize and edit animal expressions. But before we get to it, I want to share a tip that's helped me a lot while working with Nano Banana. Instead of always pressing Ctrl A to select all, then navigating to the edit menu to access generator fill, I recommend creating a keyboard shortcut for it. To do this, go to edit, keyboard shortcuts. From here, go into edit, scroll down to generator fill and apply a keyboard shortcut. I use Ctrl Alt B for banana, However, Photoshop will warn me that this shortcut is taken by a command that I never use, so I'll simply click on accept. Now you can use your own custom keyboard shortcut to bring up generator fill, and this is the method that I will use for the rest of the video. Again, to save time, I'll paste the prompt. The only changes I've made here are that I added the words dog and happy to it. When I generate, Nano Banana will give us a happy dog. By the way, if you're learning anything new, hit the like button now and subscribe. Now let's look at some of the wildest things you can do with these models. You can select all and use your custom shortcut to bring up the generator fill box. I'll paste the prompt and generate. What I'm telling Photoshop to do is to make it seem as if the woman was carrying the man like a baby. And this is really good. His legs might be a little on the shorter side, but we can always make them longer in Photoshop using traditional techniques. This has so many applications. How do you see yourself using it? For me, this is something I can use on the TV and movie posters I create. I do this stuff by hand all the time. Now let's work with text. In this case, we'll use the flux model, which tends to yield better results when editing text within an image. The goal is to change the words Reno to Adobe and the biggest little city in the world to Photoshop now includes partner models. And the result is fantastic. The word Adobe is clearly legible, and the tagline below is just as good. Nano Banana is great for creating mockups for your logos. All you need to do is select all, bring up the generative fill box, I'm using the Google Banana model, and tell Photoshop where you would like to see the logo. Remember, be descriptive. In this case, I want to see the logo on a pink shirt worn by a young skater sitting on top of a table in an outdoor skate park. And no surprise, I get just that with my generation. I highly recommend that you start experimenting with these partner models to create product mockups of your designs. And now, let me show you a trick that designers are going to love. And if you do, then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with a friend. Start by creating a new document that is 1080 by 1080 with a white background. And now we're gonna generate an image from scratch. To do so, Select the entire layer by pressing Ctrl A and use your custom keyboard shortcut to bring up the generator fill box. Then give it a prompt that tells it to create a seamless pattern of an intricate colorful floral design. And the results are very good, but the important thing here is that this is a seamless pattern. And if you're a designer, you can probably see how powerful this is, especially when you combine it with Photoshop patterns. 
And let me show you how to do that. Go into Edit and choose Define Pattern. Give it a name. Now you can apply this seamless generated texture as a Photoshop pattern. Just go to any document, create a pattern fill layer, and your newest pattern is always at the bottom. You can select it, and as you can see, it's a seamless pattern. I'll decrease the scale, and you'll be able to see that there are no seams. To me, this is just amazing. Think of all the images you can generate to create seamless patterns for your designs. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. Now, we're going to create type effects. With the marquee tool, make a selection. Then describe a prompt that uses a word and how it is created. For example, type banana using coffee beans. And in a few moments, you will get that exact result. And if your brain isn't blown by now, then you are definitely hard to impress. But I have a few more examples that might do the job. Nano Banana is very good at changing the time of day. In this image, I will enter a prompt that describes the time of day, lighting conditions, and how the background behaves. Again, look at the description for the prompts that I'm using. And this is just an incredible day to night transformation. The image looks realistic. I love the reflections in the water. Everything just looks great. And time is not the only thing you can change. You can also change seasons. I'll give Photoshop a prompt to turn this photo into a winter scene with snow on the elephant. And we have another fantastic generation. This looks very realistic and it really seems like the elephant is walking through snow. Now let's organize these six objects into a composite. I'll bring up the generator fill box. I'll paste the prompt that tells Photoshop to create a close-up image of a desk with all these items neatly organized on top of it in a beautiful classic Paris office interior. And this is a result that's pretty good, but we're missing two items. So why don't we generate one more time to see if we get a better result. And sure enough, this looks much better. We have all six items on a desk in an elegant office in Paris. Of course, you can fine tune the prompt further to generate better results. Now, let me show you how to hack Photoshop into allowing you to use a reference image. Nano Banana was designed to work in a chat box environment where you can attach multiple images to generate a result. At this point in time, we cannot do that in Photoshop, but we can hack it to make it work. I'll use a photo of myself, and I want to see how this jacket will look on me. The first step is to expand the canvas with the crop tool to have both images visible on screen. Then with the move tool, you can move the jacket over to the other side. Make sure the entire jacket is visible. Also, in my testing, this works better if we have no transparent pixels, so you can fill the transparent areas with white. Then, select all, bring up the generator fill box, and type your prompt. I will paste the prompt that tells Photoshop to keep everything the same, but put the jacket on me. And the generation looks very realistic. Everything matches. Lighting, perspective, color, it all looks so good. Now, all you need to do is crop the image to the previous size. And this is my final result. Now we're going to work with a photo of my grandparents, which was shot in the 1950s. It's strange to think about that I'm older today than they were when this photo was taken, but the goal here is to restore this photo. I'll use the same technique to bring up generator fill, and you can simply type the words, restore this photo, and generate. The results are fantastic for one click. And of course, the image is not perfect, there are some imperfections that we need to fix, but a lot of the hard work is already done. Now you can treat this as a traditional Photoshop job. Create a new layer and use the Spot Healing Brush tool to remove any imperfection. And by the way, you can take the image into a completely new level by leveraging your traditional Photoshop skills. I spent about another 30 minutes applying other Photoshop adjustments and it looks much better. And here's something very cool. I took the image into Adobe Firefly and place it as a starting frame and use the Google VO3 partner model to generate a video. Then I added sound effects in Adobe Premiere and this is the result. I think that you're beginning to see that you can now create almost anything you want with this new technology and with your traditional skills. I'm really curious to know what ideas you're getting after watching these examples. I'm sure you're thinking about a lot. Remember what we discussed earlier, how Nano Banana has Google's knowledge behind it? Well we can use it to create some very interesting things. For example, it can recognize items in your photos and annotate them. In this case, 
we can use it to highlight the Empire State Building and annotate five fun facts about it. Then include the words fun facts at the bottom. The generation highlighted the Empire State Building and shared the five fun facts about it. I'm not sure if these are accurate, we'll have to double check. But the fact that you can mock this up so quickly is just astounding to me. What do you think? Also, this helps illustrate the Nano Banana understands the content in your image, which means that you can annotate it with instructions for it to follow. For example, I made some notes in this image to place the sleeping dog on the couch, add a blue Turkish rug on the floor, and place me sitting on the couch with my legs crossed. By the way, I'll show you how to generate an 80s version of yourself a little later on. Then you can bring up generator fill and type complete the prompts in red, then remove the red prompts and sample images. Telling Nano Banana to remove the red prompts is sometimes necessary because it may leave them behind. And I'm always surprised to see how well this tool does. Notice how the dog is sleeping on the couch. I'm sitting on it with my legs crossed and we have a blue Turkish rug on the floor. This is just unbelievable. We're definitely living in the future. There is so much you can do with these new models that I don't have enough time in a day to show you everything. But I can quickly show you a few more examples with prompts applied to my portrait. I hope that they inspire you to open up Photoshop and come up with your own. Keep an eye out in the properties panel to see the prompt I use or look below in the description. Everything is in the same generative layer. In this first example, I changed the perspective of the photo the prompt I used was, give me a view from above looking down on this image. And it just looks fantastic. It's the same photo, but from a different angle, I'm wearing the same clothes and it is the same scene. It's just incredible. Here's another one where I added to the prompt, keep the same pose so that my body would have the same pose as the original. Unfortunately, I put my hands behind my back, so not quite the same pose. Remember, if you don't generate what you want, try a different prompt or keep generating until you get something that is closer to what you had in mind. And as I promised earlier, I took that photo of myself and I asked Nano Banana to make it look like I'm from the 80s and this is the result that it gave me. It's fantastic and I really, really like it. My hair looks great. What do you guys think? And then I asked it to generate a full body professional portrait of myself. I think I look great in a suit. I'm sure you won't disagree. You can also place things in water just by telling Nano Banana to flood the entire scene. Also, before we continue, I'm going to let you know that I have an upcoming in-depth Photoshop AI course. The link is in the description if you want to learn more about generative AI. I'm a big fan of the Terminator movies, so I asked Nano Banana to place me in a dystopian future and to make me look like a damaged Terminator, and that's the result it gave me. I think it looks great. You can also zoom out out of any image. In the prompt, simply type in zoom out. In this case, I also told it to show my entire body. It did a really great job. You can see the tree that's coming out of my head here and the car in the background are all found in the original image. There's the tree, there is the car, and Nano Banana simply zoomed out. It looks really, really good. Nano Banana is also great at replacing backgrounds. In this image, I simply asked it to place me in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, and this was the result. It looks so realistic. In this prompt, I asked for an image where I was sitting on top of the W in the Hollywood sign and to keep me in scale. However, this is definitely not up to scale. That W is way bigger than I am, but the composite still looks fantastic. One of my favorite shows of all time is Friends. So I asked Nano Banana to place me next to Jennifer Aniston in the coffee shop Central Perk, and it did a really good job. And I think we should all have someone who looks at us the way Jennifer Aniston is looking at me in this photo. And finally, I asked Nano Banana to make me into a comic book drawing with a thought bubble that says, this is bananas. And it even added an emoji. It is really, really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you made it this far, like and put a banana emoji in the comments.